Today we're going to explore the ancient technique of pickling, which for thousands of years people have used to preserve food as a necessary means of survival. Fortunately, we're doing it for the taste, and the possible accolades from those lucky enough to sample the delicious finished product. So stay tuned while we learn how to tickle our pickles in today's video, Pickles with Turmeric and Ginger. And just a quick shout out to Melissa's Produce for providing us with the freshest ingredients available anywhere. Check them out at melissas.com. We're going to start with one part water and one part vinegar in a small saucepan. For this recipe, we're using coconut vinegar. You can also use white vinegar. Leave that on low heat. And then we're going to prep these beautiful pickling cucumbers by trimming the ends and cutting them into quarters. You can tell how crisp and delicious these are going to be by that beautiful color. Generally, the smaller and denser they are, the crunchier they will be. Now we're moving on to the fresh ginger, which I've already peeled. We're going to be cutting these into matchstick sized pieces. Why matchsticks, you ask? Well, the more surface area we create, the more flavor we'll infuse, along with all the healthy goodness that fresh ginger and turmeric offer. They're both powerful anti-inflammatories and antioxidants, as well as immune and memory boosters. But don't let that take away from the fact that this is all about making great pickles, and I mean dill-icious. Speaking of dill, fresh dill is definitely the secret to making great pickles, in my opinion. But there's also a couple of other key ingredients here. Into two clean mason jars, we're going to add about a half teaspoon of mustard seed, one half teaspoon of coriander seed, one half teaspoon of whole black peppercorns, a pinch of chili flakes, and then it's time to assemble. Let's start by placing the spear quarters into the jar, leaving space between for the other ingredients. Then you can start filling up all the gaps. There's no wrong way to do this, and obviously, the more you do it, the better you'll get. And feel free to play with the ingredients. Essentially, you can pickle anything. Carrots, asparagus, peppers, and the list of spices is endless. As long as you use a base of vinegar and water, the rest is up to you. Mmm, that fresh ginger and turmeric smells incredible. So once our liquid boils, it's time to add it to the jars. As you can see, I'm wearing protective equipment because we don't want any accidents in the kitchen. Once the jars are filled, quickly screw on the tops. We want to create a vacuum as the liquid cools. And then comes the fun. Let's mix those ingredients like a shake weight. Single-handed, double-handed, and for those of you who know, the backhand feels like someone else is doing it. Making pickles is not only easy, but as you can see, can also be a fun workout. And the reward is a delicious snack that can complement almost any meal. And I'm not just jerking your gherkin. As always, Thanks for watching.